So the last step is to test our pH. This is a really easy process. We've got our pH down and our pH up. We've got our colour chart here, which we're going to use to assess what our level of pH is. We've got our little pH indicator solution and we've got our syringe to accurately measure out the amount of pH up or pH down that we might have to add to get our pH within 5.5 to 6.5. We really want to try and aim for 6. That's our optimal level of pH. So we know that all of the plants that we've got in our air garden can access the nutrient and grow healthy and strong for us. So the first step we're going to do is we've got our little test tube here. We're going to dunk that down about halfway into our reservoir and we're going to make sure that that's full with water. The next thing we're going to do is add our two drops of our indicator solution. And we give it a shake like that. There we go. Now we grab our pH colour chart and we can see down here, we're trying to match that to the colour. So that's really telling me we're more down into the range of around five, which means we need to bring that up around about one point. We want to try and get it again. Our magic number is six. So to get that from five to six, we need to add some pH up, which is in our white bottle here. To get this up one point, we're going to add firstly two mils of our pH up solution of the reservoir, give it a stir and then retest. And then if we need to adjust it up or down slightly, we're going to add the pH up in about one mil increments just to get it close to where we need to. So we're at the point now where we're adding either our pH up or down. It's a really important point when we're handling our pH up or down that we just make sure we wear some dishwashing gloves, something to protect our hands because it can sting just a little bit. Very important that we do that. pH down, what we want to do is unscrew our top here and just pour out a little bit into the top of the cap, just below the top of it. Put that down there, put that on a nice flat surface and then we've got our syringe and then it's really easy just to put the syringe in the top and pull out exactly what we need. We've measured that out. We're going to put that into our reservoir. We're going to get our stirrer again. Give that a really good stir again like we did with our nutrient. And then the exact same process again. We want to empty this out, take a sample of the water, two drops of our pH indicator solution, give it a shake and then test the colour back on our chart to make sure we've hit that 6.0 pH target. <laughs>